good regiment, that. Yeah. Did six years myself. Great life. Why'd you pack in, then? Great life for a single man. According to my missus, anyway. Did you see any action? Drove a green goddess in the miners' strike. That was the nearest I came to the front line. Mind you, that got pretty scary at times. Always wanted to sign up. Must have been about five or six when my dad brought me my first action man. <laughs> I bet he's proud. Oh, he is. Mum's worried sick, though. Her little boy leaving home. She thinks I'll be shipped off to Bosnia next week. Did you see her earlier? Embarrassing old what? Tears, full works. Yeah, well, you wait till you're a dad. It will be the same. Am I missing something? That's a question that takes some thought. Hey. Let's see, what could you possibly be missing? I mean, you are God's gift. You're the one that left me in the on-call room half the night. Have a good laugh for the nurses, did you? Oh, Dr. Spither. Dr. Stone. You'll have heard about the new trust video. No. Oh, it's just a little something I'm putting together. And I'd like to feature the two of you. Not interested. Ah. Well, I hope you'll reconsider. Uh, we're doing a bit of recording this evening in your department. Are you kidding? Do you know what night it is tonight? Absolutely. Bonfire night. Guaranteed action. Oh, and uh, it's in your contracts. Cooperation and trust publicity. No chance. And I've cleared it with all the relevant people, including the chief executive. Where's Charlie? He's in the toilet talking to himself. He's yeah. Australian. Oh. Fundamental difference. Charlie? To the emergency Charlie, department. Charlie, do you know about this video? Sorry? What the uh, ladies out of working order, is it? Greenwood's bringing in a film crew. Tonight? Yeah. Ah, oh, Charlie. Need a little oil pouring on troubled waters, I'm thinking. Excuse me, is this going to take long? It's a you know, bit difficult with an audience. Did you go abroad at all? Yeah, Canada, Falklands, uh, after the war. I did a couple of tours on Northern Ireland. Bet you missed the travel. Furthest to get now is taking holiday makers to the airport. Watch out! Bloody drivers! Sorry, mate, I had it covered. The video is to help raise funds for the Trust. Surely you're in favour. Yeah, of course I am, but... Without which, our new observation ward would still be light years away. And to make an impact, we need to show a busy hospital. So when better than tonight? Charlie, the last thing we need when we're busy is a bunch of people running around getting in the way. So I keep being told. I'm surprised you need telling. Look, I've pointed it out and I've been assured that they won't get in the way. You'll not even notice us, I promise. Oh, please. Um, Look, if it does become a problem, we'll rethink it, all right? Charlie, you won't even be here. I'll have my mobile phone. Is that Charlie Fairhead we were talking to? It's always a mistake to give nurses power. Hardy ha. Hmm. Wanting to arrange another little get-together tonight? You're going to tell me what's going on. That isn't how this game's played, is it? By telling. Door keys just don't walk. You're as bad as Ben. But you've got them in here, have you? <laughs> Where? I haven't got them. <laughs> ben, you can't go for an interview in jeans. They're clean. It's a clothes shop, not bank. I'd give him the job. Oh, it's not you he has to impress. Go and put those other trousers on. Hurry up, or we'll both be late. Whose side are you on, anyway? Oh, us boys have to stick together. <laughs> We're doing all right, aren't we? Oh, better than that. Why don't I come and pick you up and we'll go for a meal, the three of us? Yeah, sounds great. Gotta go. Why don't you try that jacket? Come on, Ben! I'll be in the car! Yeah, hold on. What do you reckon? Do you buy a suit from me? It's not mine. The jacket's not mine. My mate lent it me. I'm still clean. Honest. I'm clean. Come on, ben. What are you up to tonight? 
Nothing, Mike. We're going to any bonfire parties. No, man, it's not my seat. Yeah. yeah, what do you two think of this video, then? I'm not having anything to do with it. Do you think they're going to pay? Well, there's always money for publicity stunts, just none for the job. Only for looking for any leading men types. <laughs> well, cheers. If you'd just like to take a seat, so I'll see you as soon as possible. <laughs> Funny boy, isn't he? <laughs> you look worse than some of them are getting here, love. Just got to catch up on my beauty sleep, that's all. Well, you might have to do what she doesn't. Hi, I'm Louise Shaw. I bet you are. All right, I'm yeah. Jack. Um, let me just take your um, address and phone number. I'm not a patient. I'm fronting a video here. Oh, oh yeah. Um, right, uh, Mr. Green was doing research. I'll just show you through. It's okay. I can find my own way. Keep your tongue in. She's not that pretty. Did you see that? Didn't know. It's sorry. Man, she's fronting the video. Really? Did I tell you what a good idea this video is? Hello. Can I speak to Amanda Lewis, please? Uh, well, would you ask her to call Max Gallagher? Yeah, it's pretty urgent. Thank you. Okay, what have we got? Andrew Martin, 18, unrestrained rear seat passenger in a minicab. Had a bit of a fight with an HGV about 45 miles an hour. Not KO. The driver's right behind. He has to be cut out. All right, Laura, you take this one with me. Patrick, you take the next one. Hi, I'm Max Gallagher. You're in Holby City General Hospital. Can you let my mum know I'm OK? Yeah, we'll get someone to give her a call. Back and chest injuries. GCS 15 at the scene. Decreased air entry left side. Cardiovascular? Yeah, tachycardic at 110 with a systolic of 100. I need to call my regiment. Tell him I'll be late. Let's get you sorted out first. Has he had anything? Yeah, on his first litre of same line. On my count. One, two, three. Easy. Chris Medley, 38, restrained driver from the minicab. We had to cut him out. Obvious injuries to the left shoulder, but no other injuries have been found. We collared and boarded due to mechanism and speed of contact, not KO. Uh, Chris, I'm Patrick Spiller. You're a lucky man. Uh, okay. So, so we wrote from to see the car. Pulse of 88, systolic of 110, GCS 15. Yep, don't worry about her now. We'll get you checked out. OK, everybody, on my count. One, two, three. Mr Greenwood. Oh, Philip, please. Look, I'd really like to interview one of the doctors for the video. That one, actually. Oh, I've asked. Being a little precious. Sorry. Oh. Could you do us a huge favour? Sure, would you don't mind? Dr Gorgeous. We could really do with him in the video. Well, Patrick. All he does is hang around with a stethoscope around his neck. Look, if you want someone who really knows what they're doing, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine, just a bit faint. It'll be all the blood gets me like that. Yeah, come on, I'll get you a drink. Yeah. Decreased air entry and dullness on the left side. Max? So, what do you think? Hemothorax. Shall I do a chest drain? Your call. Okay, Chloe, another line in, please. And can we have FBCs, cross match six, and use an ease, glucose, and a chest strain set? Yes. Yeah, sure. Anna, can you give extra? Okay. And can you tell Jack to let me know as soon as Amanda calls? Okay. Now, Andrew, we're going to insert a tube into your chest. Okay. Your lungs being punctured, and we think blood may be collecting in the cavity. It may feel a bit uncomfortable, okay? Oh, it's my legs. They don't feel right. There's something wrong with my legs. Oh. Apart from your shoulder, is that pain anywhere else? A few cuts and bruises, I reckon. Right. Give you something to dull the edges. Lorry driver didn't even have a scratch on him. Yeah, yeah. off nowhere with HGVs. Should be pretty lucky it. yourself. Right, well, looks like you've got a dislocated shoulder. When we finish, we'll get you up to extra for a check. You know, I'm really glad that they, uh, you were making this video. I think it really helped us. You think so? Yeah. Well, it's one of two people. Certain doctors don't realise how important it is, but... <laughs> but you can? Hmm. Especially with a face like yours fronting it. Pretty, intelligent. Could be the right blood sugar to make me feel faint. It's the heat and the blood. Like your slimy PR guy said. Give me a bit of a headache. Oh! I've done a few videos myself, you know. Yeah, I don't think there is as interest in your home movies. Well, a bit more professional than that, you know, like weddings and all that sort of thing. Though I've not done any honeymoons yet. Nice. So you do this sort of thing all the time, do you? Actually, I've got an audition next week. Weather girl. That'll be a big break for you. Yeah, but I won't get to meet sexy doctors like that one just now. And our survey says... Uh -uh. <laughs> what have you been up to now? 